today we are going to show you how to install an FPC connector 42 pin onto a circuit board and what we're going to be using is first off is a stencil right here this is called a stick and peel stencil so we'll squeegee solder paste in then remove it and we have to have a connector and solder paste and what solder paste we'll be using is an Alpha OM 5100 500 grams which is a uh, really fine solder ball solder paste is made up of flux and tiny little solder balls and we're going to be also using a hot air gun system to reflow it with so let's get on with this and let's show you how to do this okay first thing I want to do is to remove the stencil and if you notice here there's a little area where to peel back from and all you do is peel it just like I'm trying to do right now but my toys don't want to cooperate okay let's put this right back where we want it just right here in the center of the screen you notice here I've already done one for you but we want to show you how to do this one okay so here we go you want to line it just you got your uh, ground planes and you've got your pad sites and there you go you've got it and now press it down a little bit don't let it move okay so far so good now I'm gonna open up my solder paste what you want to do is try and keep it cold to keep it from slumping it really works out well for actually small stencils you don't need a lot little dab will do you okay hold your board from moving and you're going to press at a nice little 45 degree angle some solder paste into the holes just like I just did okay then you're going to squeegee it back off the excess put it back into the holes or back into your container just like that again verifying all the holes are filled up like I'm doing next thing you want to do is to grab the corner of the stencil and I'll slide it over so you can see what I'm doing grab a corner peel it off just like so now you're looking to make sure you got good deposits on all of them and we do push the squeegee off or take your stencil move it off to the side next thing you want to do is to grab your part make sure you got the correct alignment and position I'm going to turn this a different direction so I can work with it a little bit easier. There we go. Just like that. Next thing I want to do is to come down in here with my part being very gentle. Okay, not that gentle. Being very gentle. And to semi place it, align it. Okay, let me just push it back over just a little. Well, I feel like I'm playing hockey right now. Okay, there we got a good position all the way around. I'm looking at everything, ground planes and all. Solder paste looks good right now. What I'm going to do is adjust the focus just a little bit for you so you can see it a little bit easier. I can zoom in. That's the nice thing about having a microscope is so you can see what you're doing a little bit easier too. Let's do a little bit of a fine adjustment here so you can really see what I'm doing. Next thing I'm going to do is going to grab my hot air pencil, get it nice and hot. I'm running about 300 degrees Celsius. It really works out nice. I don't want a large airflow in this because you don't want to blow your part all over the place. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and start heating it up. I'm going to start working up high and work my way inward okay 
What you're doing is you're drying the solder paste, you're activating the fluxes, and then you're going to reflow it. Now what you're trying to do is to keep from melting the plastic. And you can see how quick this went for me. And you just stay here for a couple more seconds. Make sure you especially got them ground planes reflowed. Then come off. Don't touch it. Let it start cooling down. Just like we're doing right now. Let it cool. And now it is completed. You've got a good connection there. It's going to stay there. The plastic's not melted whatsoever and I can prove that it's not going to move. I can push on it. I'm pushing on it very hard and nothing's going on. And I've activated all the flux. Everything is where it has to be. So, And it's a no clean flux. So I don't even have to clean it up with alcohol or anything like that. And I'm not getting any contamination up here in the connection area. And now I can put my connector back on. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you and have a nice day.